Okay, here we go. So, continuing from where we were. Current problem we're having is shortage of red circuits. Obviously not here because they're not being consumed, but everywhere else basically. Uh, we have enough copper to feed this now. We have enough copper to feed this. Oh, why is this not working? What's the condition of this? Robot less than 10, oh well, okay. It's gonna be... It's gonna have to be bumped up. More like 50. So, okay. Looks like we do have, in fact have enough copper to feed a few things here, so... I guess the next step to do here is just to increase production of these guys. Maybe I should also dump productivity modules into the copper wire assemblers. Uh, but I think I'll just expand the production first and then do that. So, let's see where we have space. Uh, I guess we have space here. Might not want to go all that far out though. Uh, yeah, I can just use this, I guess. Don't think these trees are going to be much useful in in absorbing pollution anymore anyway. So let's just get rid of all these trees and build some factory there instead. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna use this as a start. This one, like that. Let's build that like, yeah, here. It's probably fine. And yeah, this is going to mess up the ratios a bit, but I think that's probably fine. I think I will put productivity modules in these. So, prop mod, there we go, and... There, and then we can just double this up a few times. So we have copper in there, plastic in there, all oh right, and then uh, iron in there actually, and then plastic in here. So if I do this, I can make it in line. Move that to there. Uh, so, like this. And then plastic in there. Iron in there. And I'll have to make sure to put plastic only on the right side of there. Okay, so... belts, but I'll figure that out as I go. Let's copy this whole thing. And let's do... Wait. Huh. So I need to copy from there approximately, yeah. That should work. And then that, and there, and there. Trim this 
off. I'm gonna have some input belts. So I need one iron up here, and this one I think is kind of dedicated to the robots, so I won't touch that one. Maybe I can steal from one of these. This one, for example. It's gonna be a, be a beautiful mess of belts here. So up there, and there we go. So just get rid of this turret box. Don't really need it anymore. This in here. Okay, and we have iron in there. We need plastic as well. All right, and I need more petroleum for this, don't I? Right, I need more oil for this. So it's gonna have to be something I need to do too. But at least I'll pull a belt over there. So we have two here already actually. So I'll just do that. And let's see. Yeah, I think I wanted to run this up actually. So maybe not this one. Yeah, I'll do it the other way. Can I put it in here, maybe? And so I can do something like this. Save some space here. Like that. Okay, yeah, and then this one needs to go there, while this one goes here. personal transport belt anymore. I don't think I really need them all that much. Nah, I'll just clear the space to be used for products. So this can be... Oh, I guess I didn't actually need to deconstruct that. Oh, anyway. Uh, let's get rid of these two. this. And that will be the plastic input. And then finally we need copper up here and this doesn't need to be there. <laughs> this flames over to it. And uh, let's see, copper. There is copper. There's one full belt going there. And there's another belt going down this way. I think I can probably split from this one quite easily. Pull that up this way. Oh, there's a bit of wreckage. I want to leave the wreckage pieces as much as I can, just, just because it seems kind of neat. So there we go, and up there. So there, and then I can set some priority on these ones. Priority right. Oh, hello. So this way it'll be easy to tell how how long these belts are lasting. So that I can easily upgrade or feed more input into them when needed. Oh, 
Oh, and this also needs power, I suppose. Uh, power pole there should be okay. One there, maybe. Can connect it this way too to make it less less vulnerable to being uh, uh, caught by just a single thing. Right, so now we have the outputs here. that way and rebalance the lanes on each one just because so that we have a good amount of red output and so this one will need to be fed into the blue science and also into the mall so the mall one is coming up in there. So maybe I can feed that one down somehow. And this one is entering there. So that one I could run down this way, back where the plastic came from. So let's do that first. Something like that. This way and down this way and then let's see I can just feed it in here I suppose so dive there go like there should feed straight into the blue signs and then I can figure out the mall over here. So if I wanted to go down here somewhere, I can get rid of some of these belts now. I think. Maybe keep that one. Or at least this one I can now repurpose as product belt. So, let's feed it down here somewhere. I'll go like here maybe? If I go here... Or there... That's gonna work. And I can even split over here instead. And here we go. Down this way. Get rid of these. into here. So let's go like here. There. Should fix that right up. Now are these still oh yeah there's just missing modules. It's fine. I don't think I need these trash chests, actually. Okay, at least all the lanes are looking correct. Oh, and it's already producing. Cool. So now I need to figure out more oil input so that I can feed all these. And oil is down here. So I just need to expand this border this way. And I've been thinking something I should do here is to just make a repeatable blueprint that I can just stamp down and just have the robots figure everything out for me. So I'm going to just clear some space here. 
and make a blueprint for that. These are just power poles, so I can just get rid of them. And I do have... Oh, I don't have a little bit of robot board coverage there. Okay. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is... Place some robots. Oh, whoops. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to need that robot board though. So, there. And so the unit of repetition for this is going to be the RoboPort grid range, uh, meaning this range. So each of these is going to be one cell. And let's see. Obviously, I need walls in between all these, and then I. I'm gonna want like flamethrowers in each direction so that they can clear each other out and uh, just do that while pushing forward. I'm thinking maybe I want some protection for the roboport itself. Yeah, I'll just start putting down walls and see what happens. So, uh, let's see, the middle point is. Actually, if I do this. Can't see. Okay, here I can see. Okay, so here, the middle point is there. Yep. So I probably don't actually want a power pole there. Rather, I want walls there. Probably. Unless I put the walls slightly inward. So let's see, this was the optimal range for flamethrowers. Yeah, that actually kind of works pretty out, works out pretty well. They put the flamers, something like that. I do want these to reach into the other cells, though. So if for starters I just put up some walls around the robot, I guess I'm going to need to include the power pole as well. That's two spaces of space in between. Now if I put the flamers... I want them to cover all the way into the other cell. So like there, I guess. Something like that. These walls probably. I'm not sure if I want them to cover the roboport as well because they probably will just destroy the roboport, but maybe that's fine. It's more important to just clear all the enemies actually. So yeah. I think I'm at the point, or at least, at least very close to the point where I don't really need to care about losses anymore. So something like that. Yeah, so if I repeat this in every direction... I don't need all the power poles. this like that this should cover pretty much anything no I think maybe there are some dead spots in the middle I guess we'll see we'll find out these will cover it looks like there will be some dead spots in here. Or blind spots, or whatever you want to call it. So we'll need something like that as well, I guess. Yeah, let's wait for some of these to be placed and see what happens. Looks like there will be a blind spot in here. Letting in if I don't 
put anything there. Then the biters won't really care about being there, I suppose. Because they only really care about eating buildings. Although spaders can still stand there and just shoot at everything, so... Hmm. Anyway, let's wait for these to be constructed and see what happens. So get this power pole into all of them. Huh? Did I place something there? Okay. Yeah, there are a few walls, okay. So the walls are just going to be Extend like this. Oh, power ball. Ah, it's this one. Okay. Let's get rid of that one, actually. Put some walls there instead. Yeah, there are blind spots in here. So... I guess I can do something like this, too. I think. Keep it nice and symmetrical. Yeah, that'll cover everything. Just copy this around. probably need some... I can probably just move these walls out. Like that. thing I will need to worry about though is to make sure that each of these cells clears enough space to at least place the roboport in the next cell. So let's see how that works out. If I do that... Okay, it does reach quite far here. So that's probably okay. Yeah, and then this robot also has a reach. Okay, only to here. Hmm. So maybe I want it slightly less so that these walls, also the, like the inner walls, can fit into... What if I do just this? So they can fit into that robot range. So maybe I don't want it to be full. Oh, but it does fit. Oh, okay. So construction area... Oh, construction area is 110 by 110. Okay. Well, that's pretty much perfect then. So then, whenever I drop down a little cell like this, then the robots will immediately build this thing, and then as soon as the robot lands, it'll finish the rest as well. That seems pretty good. I 
Yeah, and now we have full coverage in here. So yeah, I think this looks pretty okay as a first version of this kind of thing. Do I need all these walls? Maybe I don't need... Yeah, I don't think I need all these walls. It's nice to keep the number of the number of entities low so that um, I don't need to place so the robots don't need to place all that many things at one time. Which means if I can compress these pipes in some way that would also be nice. Like, could face this that way instead? What have I done? That won't cover the blind spot. Right. Yeah, no. Let's keep it like that. These are quite a lot of flamethrowers, so maybe I, maybe I can make it just this. Okay, that's done. That means I can get started on modules. But first I think I want to get this one so that I can make electric furnaces. That will make it a lot easier to build out the smelting for these two. Uh, or patches. Uh, no, in not this is not symmetrical anymore. Yeah, and now these should just move to there instead. Probably works. Oh, yeah. Concave shapes is not great. I'll worry about that in a bit. I mean, this thing that I'm building here is gonna make it uh, easier to to make sure that that kind of thing doesn't happen because I can just much more easily expand using this. Can I move these in? Yeah, if I can save just a few walls by doing that, that's worth it. So like, there? Is that close enough? That is not close enough, so let's put it here then. And if the biters can reach it, that's fine. They probably won't care that all that much. They mostly care about military structures. So let's rotate this around. That looks like right in the middle. And uh, this... no, this one should not be there. And maybe here... maybe I should also reduce the number of pipes a bit. Like this, for example. Mm. 
that looks okay. Did I... I just don't think I saved that. Did I? No. Okay. Say relative for now. And I'll see. Yeah. Wait, did I save it somewhere? Okay, there it is. Spot the Roboport image on there. And also flamethrower. And um, let's make sure this is rotationally symmetric, and it is, except for the wires. I don't think I care about the wires. Although, maybe... I move these these in further. Yeah, I think there was not close enough, was it? Oh, it is okay. So with that, I can move these out a bit and use medium poles in here instead. See, I think I have a tick, yeah. Or just poles. So let's get rid of all the poles. Is it possible to keep these wires neat, maybe? like no. I think I'll just go with the one medium power pole. Select new contents. There. Yeah, that's symmetrical except for all the power poles. It's fine. So, yeah, let's just start putting this to work. Hmm. 
Where do I want to root my Roboport grid is the question then. Maybe like here? Mm. Seems like a good enough spot. So let's set this to absolute alignment. And let's see. This needs to be like minus 20 in each axis, approximately. So that's yeah, minus 20, minus 20. Oh, almost right on. So plus one Y. Minus 19, oops, 19, not 10. See how that works, okay. So yeah, let's just apply this. Okay, this already connects. So, does it connect here? Yeah, okay. So just start building these. Let's see what happens. Ports. How's this going? Yeah, still <laughs> way too low on plastic. But yeah, that is the problem we're about to fix here. As soon as we can get this pr placed. Yeah, let's just barge right into these and see what happens here. Still have enough materials for all that? Cool. Right, and this is going to need a connection like an initial connection over there. Oh, did I actually accidentally place it exactly where... No, I didn't. Okay. The blueprint would put it there. Yep. Let's copy that over to the other ones as well. Right now, I also need an initial connection of oil for these as well. Like that. Let's also copy that up here. Let's 
just gonna work again. Right, so let's see what happens here. You know, these walls were built immediately to protect the robot parts. That's very good. Maybe these should just face both ways. Like, have a companion like that. But then again, that would also still leave these blind spots if I don't have these. So it probably doesn't matter all that much. Okay, looks like... No, okay, it's not sniping the robot, at least not de deliberately. I should do here is to pipe the oil in perpendicularly so I don't have so I only have one entity right next to the flamers and because these splash onto those and then it's two things that need to be repaired before the flamethrower can start firing again so maybe I should make that just the underground pipe and just pull it in from this direction instead of from this direction. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be messy, isn't it? But we'll see, if this successfully clears out this nest, then I can just stop caring about putting all that much effort into expanding. I just need to keep expanding this blueprint and we'll just eventually finish up. Is the plan here. And if that works, I'm going to be happy about it. I might need to put some chests closer by here. So that it doesn't take quite so long to place everything. And replace everything when it gets destroyed and all that. Look at this little medium miter. Get that place where I get it. See, so yeah, it's taking quite long to build all this. So let's see if I still have the chest thing in my. I don't, okay. Uh, when I was building these walls, I had small battery of storage chests for the materials that are needed for that. So let's see. Uh, this one requires walls, pipes, pipes, flamethrowers, poles, poles, roboforts. So let's do wall, pipe, pipe, Thrower. What else was there? Oh, Popeye, flame thrower, pole, pole, robot port. Poles and poles and robo pole, robo port is there. Let's place one of those here. And then once, once that is placed, I can start moving materials over there. Yeah, this is just going to be very expensive, isn't it? <laughs> I guess. So maybe we'll need to increase this production of flamethrowers and stuff like that. I have plenty of them. But I probably am going to be needing more quite soon. So let's say... One of those cells is eight flamethrowers. So yeah, the 200 is good for like, what, 60? No, 30. 
Yeah, about 30 cents. Uh, so let's make it just a thousand. The upper limit for those. And probably upgrade this to a quicker assembler. And these two actually. These can greatly benefit from productivity modules too, I think. Uh, prod mod. Yeah, let's do these two while I'm at it. These can't have them, okay. Okay, at least now the flame throws are firing. What if I put turret there? Will that cover the blind spot? Maybe it will. Looks like it probably does, maybe. So if it's there... If it's here, let's see. If it's there... The middle point is... So let's see. It does cover the entire thing. Cool. So I can probably make this a bit more efficient then. Let's see how this works out. Are those placed? Yes. So I think most important is to get the flamethrowers down there. Where are those stored right now? Here they are. Let's just move those. And also walls are going to be important to have down there. So let's move those. And where are the rest? Okay, I guess there is the rest. This probably needs to bump it up as well. To like 10,000. This might not just work like this. Let's see. Soon these are going to be coming down as well. Oh. None of flame flamethrowers. I guess that's because they're all in transit here. Probably. Yeah, here they are. Sign this a bit over here. So we'll do like this instead. Wait, I still need that as a guide, actually. So there. I guess I can move these forward a bit. And then 
this can go like that. And then this can come in directly from the side instead. And even though it is a few more entities, I'll double that up. So there are two ways the other can come in. that instead. I guess these will need connections to this side. Let's, let's redo this blueprint like that. and those also need to move. Like that. Basically this whole thing needs to go, almost. Throw some also down here. Also important is going to be pipes. Let's move all of those down and all of those down. Yeah, let's move the robots too. How many of those walls? Yeah, just 115. It's not a lot. So we're going to need some more. And you had power poles. So do we have any medium poles? There are a few. Cancel this for now until we can get all the materials down here. Let's get rid of this too.
Maybe I can use this to... yeah, okay. So, deconstruct all that and undeconstruct all the trees. are so busy moving all these pipes and yeah pipes and pipes okay there it is we have a few of them down here now yeah we're gonna need more I can probably trash some of the stuff I have in my inventory now. Like most of these belts, for example. There, most of this, most of this, most of this. I'm hardly going to be constructing by hand anymore anyway, so let's just trash all this. And these, these wires will be useful to have in the inventory. Miners, probably not so much. Oops, did I drop it? Uh, there it is. I was about to pick it up. Oh, these I don't need. Okay, that looks pretty good. Hello, the Levin Fox. Given the distance, have I considered using a different bot network for the southern defense and shipping stuff there in trays or by belt? I, uh, not exactly, but I was considering uh, just now setting up some some kind of like belt, for example, just well, maybe like a sushi belt, just moving resources along the the border and just loading it into chests. But I think it's probably not all that important. And also, I would still need to move that belt forward all the time and so on. But I think what I'm gonna do, for now at least, is to just move all the stuff I need for these cells down into these chests here. Um, so the, the robots don't have quite as far to go. And then just keep doing this and occasionally move this chest battery forward what I plan to do for now. Yeah, now they're tra trashing all this stuff. Yeah, still every robot is uh, occupied. Why are these? Oh, okay, because we're not able to consume all of that. So yeah, it is green circuit production that is holding this, this up right now. So that's down here. And... no, oh, it's here, this one. Okay, so I just need more of those in order to keep bot production running. So let's see where I can put that. There, I guess I can just continue this copper this way and double this up over there. 
like there maybe. Why is that? Okay, it's a spl output splitter, so I can just get rid of that splitter, and that looks like I can just put it here then. Yeah, I'm gonna need to squiggle that iron through here as well. This looks easily doable, so I can do that. Bring this in. I put an underground belt here. Here, that makes this easier. Uh, maybe not actually, because I still need to... Oh, what? Let's bring it up here. I'm gonna ground it like that. And there. So it's copper, and then I need this iron as well. Move this in there, get rid of this. And then I can split this like that. Go up and under. Go out here. And then I need to figure something out here. Yeah, I guess I can just dive this down. this going that way. And then dive this one too and go down. And then merge this one in where? So let's see. This one This one goes there, but this, that's for modules. Where are these green circuits coming from? There. Oh, this. The okay, there it is. Oh, so it's both okay. Okay, uh, so I just need to merge this in then. these rod modded as well. Okay, let's stop caring about deconstructing this. What if I put some mines into this blueprint? That can probably work. <laughs> okay, there's a blind spot there if I don't have a neighbor. But yeah, a neighbor in any direction would fix that. So okay, let's just wait for the robots to f finish some of this stuff. Are they still moving stuff from up here? Yeah, a few pipes. Built, actually. And this buffer also isn't really doing much. Let's just get rid of this buffer actually. Not really helping anyway. I 
I'm still going there to repair. Ah, okay. Let's try to deconstruct it then. Maybe. Or maybe just continue going here. Let's see what happens if we do this. I say they should, yeah. There we go. I hope this will just overwhelm the worms. So the leaks can just start firing by quite a lot. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we're certainly doing some da damage to the nest like this. Wait, are these poles not connecting? I thought things were close enough. Oh, but this has too many, too many connections, is that it? Is, is that it? That's, that is it. some damage. actually enough to just finish this off. It looks like it might be. Oh, and now this came online when that robot came up. Yeah, there we go. doesn't have a pipe there. Whoops. But they all have it in the blueprint though. Okay. Hm. Something must have happened there. Okay, here they come. Yeah, now this should... Oh, wait. It's missing a pipe there too. Is it like that here? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna need to fix that. Get rid of those. That connects, that connects, that connects. This one does not connect, okay. So, update the blueprint again. Like that. works. 
So I guess I'll just use this to continue expanding the borders. oil's doing. It's not running low but it's also not all that much. Okay, so let's continue going this way so we can clean this oil. Maybe I don't want to do quite that many at the same time though. Should wait for these to finish first. Yeah, because these are out of pipes now. And also, yeah, out of pipes and out of walls. Yeah, so those are being fetched from here now. How many walls is one of these? 250, 40 walls, okay. Hmm. I definitely need to move more walls down and also more underground pipes. Upgrade these. The high volume ones. Wait, 72? Is one power plant not connected? Oh, this is out of... Oh yeah, because they only have a solid fuel input for that. Okay. Guess they need to run some coal up there too. Can you just split this one off here? This one already has the right priority even. I think no, this has to be the other way around, yeah. So input priority left. And this is output priority right. some pipes down. Mm -hmm. 
Well, let's move all the walls as well. I suppose. This iron is not getting any more iron. Oh, it's up in here. Oh, this is not built. And this is... Yeah, no longer producing all that much. Let's recycle some of these. No, that, wait, that one's not finished actually. This one is... Can we recycle some of these modules? That looks like all of them for now. So let's make sure we have coverage here. So this can be built. Still a way to go. Okay, maybe not ready for this yet. Oops, there's a way around there. So what if I add some mines to this? Can do like this maybe? even lines up well.
it's oh, whoops. Let's give this the same settings as the other one. Fifty. Fifty. And then I think it was minus twenty, minus nineteen. Yeah. Okay. So with that in mind, let's also move some mines down here. And that mine goes there. Okay, so that's a thousand walls moved. That's enough for just four sections. actually not construct all these mines because I don't need them there. It feels like a shame to reconstruct these and lose those 26,000, 27,000 products finished. I think I do want productivity modules in these. Wow, 70,000. Is the plan my chest there yet? Not yet. Let's see if I can build this one. Looks like I can. one too, so we can finally box this oil in here.
think that's enough for a start. Are these built yet? There. Yay! Okay, there it goes. Very nice. So I should get these running again. Just gonna get rid of these so to stop that blinking. Oh, that also actually frees a couple of productivity modules. Okay, not all these are working, but some of them, at least. Like, most of them, actually. this town. Start mining this oil. Some poles to power these. So now I just need to figure out how to pull this all the way up here. Yeah, I probably want to feed it in there. Uh, so I can probably go through here somehow. Let's try. Yeah. Definitely works. Do I have coverage out there? I do. to go that far even. There is enough. Right, and I also need to connect this one. Uh, so, let's just pull that straight down from here, I suppose.
Okay. Well, that should do it. Okay, now it looks like most of the moving is done here. So now we can finally continue here. And there they go. These probably just need to be facing both ways, I think. Why are there not... Oh, because there are no roboports here, of course. That explains why they're not building that one up there. So let's get those roboports in. Right, now I was going to do mines here as well. We gotta put that so let's just drop a bunch of mines here. Right, now also we're going to move the mines there for that. How many mines is that blueprint? 160. So let's bump this up to 10,000 mines. Why not? See, those are made at... 5 seconds. So yeah, this is definitely enough to keep up with that. I cancelled. Oh, okay, looks like the flamethrowers have done most of this. Yeah, that one's down now, okay. So, looks like that actually worked out in the end. Maybe I don't need those mines. Yeah, 
I just need to finish this, I suppose. Yeah. And then this one will take care of these worms, and then I can continue from there. So now I'm going to need a deconstruction planner for all the things except roboports and power poles, basically. So for walls and mines and uh, also not for pipes. For those and for... is that it? Yeah, that's kind of it. Okay, probably don't need to keep all those pipes, though. But I can make a separate one for just the pipes. So, let's do pipes and pipes. Take most of this down. Though I probably want to leave the, most of that wall there. Let's do it like that, like that. pipes are not needed, for example. I wonder if this is going to connect when all that is removed. It does not, okay. Ha. So that doesn't really work then. Those no, no longer connect after I remove the flamethrower. Hmm. connect only through flamethrowers. these yeah these are outside of robot board coverage okay let's fix that that'll cover those and this will cover the rest okay and then we can take this down I guess what I can do is just make a blueprint for afterwards that does connect all these pipes. Like this. And with 50 by... oh, I can. It's gonna be 
50 by 50 and minus 20 by minus 19. Yeah, I also need to uh, align the thing correctly. Like that. No. Oh, this wall needs to stay there. Now they're working. Okay. So let's take a look here. Okay, now it looks like these can be working fully. Okay. So now, yeah, we have plenty of light oil. Do we have plenty of petroleum? Not quite. And these are working. I think I want that to be working only when there's not enough light oil. Or only when there's just an overflow of light oil. So I first want it going into petroleum and then want it going into solid fuel. So I'm gonna need another um, another condition there. Like that. Let's copy this over. So let's do petroleum if it's more than ten thousand and then if it's more than twenty thousand we'll do solid fuel. So same signal in, same signal out. Put that there and then uh, this will work only if this one is greater than or equal to 2. That means that means both this one and this one are outputting uh, the the enablement signal. So yeah, this is now disabled. So these will shut down shortly once this oil runs out, and then all of this will be going just into this output form. for this one. Light will greater than 10k, yeah. Oh, but it's not, okay. Yeah, of course, because I'm pulling it in here. Sure. So once that fills up, these will start working, and then if I still have more of the light oil than I can use, then these will start working. Yeah, these are not working now, that's great. But this is backed up. And why is that? Because that's going out of the power plant, isn't it? Okay. I guess I'm just producing more than I can consume. And this one also, yeah, is probably going to back up eventually. So really this should be like that actually. So that this belt also is fed by this buffer. And this buffer really doesn't need to be this big anymore. Now that I have a limit on how much of this can be filled up. Namely this here. Let's put this up to like 4000. Tidy 
this up a bit. And then I can move this to here. Does this reach if it's there? Yeah, okay. It's more not there then. So we can do that. There. Looks a lot better. See how these are doing. Okay, we just need to continue here. I was going to move some mine stuff. These are getting quite, quite big now. This might be a problem to take with this kind of fortress kind of thing. more stuff do I have here? Yeah, enough to make at least two more cells of this, but I have no... I do have a robots or robots available, okay. Let's put that one down. Guess I should also get some s cliff explosives down here, actually. Do not need this anymore? Cliff explosive in there and move some of those as well. And this can probably get up, yeah, can bump this up to a thousand as well. This one was 160 mines. So let's see, I have now moved yeah, about 600. That's going to be enough for a while. Oh, there's another nest. <laughs> That's just out of range. <laughs> so how many robots do I have already? Okay. Let's go ahead with one more. That flamethrower should clear this out. Do we have enough robot words here? I don't, okay. So let's get some of those down as well. Thank you. 
Okay, now we have enough light oil to start cracking here. Okay, and now we have a pretty good supply of plastic as well. Are all of them working? Looks like... Yeah, looks like all of them are working. Not fully though. But at least the crackers were able to keep up with the oil output. That's good. Are we cracking? Yeah, we are cracking heavy oil as well. Good. Here come the robots. <laughs> okay, 99 cliff explosives have been moved too. Are those here yet? Not yet. Are those here? No? Are those here? No? Here they are. No? There they are. Pipes again? No? I hope these pipes arrive soon so this can start firing. Try the mine thing here. Okay. 
Time to recycle these pipes, I think. Probably the the uh, rubber ports as well. Pick all that up. And then we can place this one. Seems really inefficient, doesn't it? If we the mines here too. Do we have any mines down here? No, oh, there they are. Oh wow. The question is, do I continue here and try to get this to work, or just try to abort and redesign something else? Maybe. I think I need some better flamethrower layouts to get this to work properly. low on oil. We have plenty of oil here up there. Okay, so somewhere this oil is losing gonna oh yeah here. Because I deconstruct all these pipes. That would be why.
And I'm running out of flamethrowers too. Hmm. Okay, there are some landmines coming in now, so maybe those will help out a bit. Okay, at least this is finished now. That's good. Or was there a nest here? I don't think there was actually. I think it was like just a worm there. Can we get this pipe maybe? Looks like we cannot. Construct this and its pipes. And then we'll have a few more surplus materials. are just getting destroyed, it seems. At least these pipes are coming down soon. So that I'll re-enable the oil supply there. cell here to help with these. down as well. Wait, not yet. I need to wait for all these things to do to deconstruct first. But yeah, I kind of need all the robots to settle down now so that I can do some more waves of robots. Just all, all going out at the same time. So for that, I guess... Yeah, let's get rid of the mines here, they're not really working. Need a radar down here. And one down here. Rid of these mines too.
Okay, looks like this isn't really working, so let's get rid of all of it. Okay, everything is now within range for these, so we can deconstruct this as well. Also problem. Hmm. Those were not in range. Let's try to take those down as well. for the flamethrowers here. at least. So, we need a better layout. Let's figure that out in here. So let's 
see again the midpoint is it was there or maybe there one more there it is okay it's midpoint and then there the other direction so I think I want to get away from this one and just have like this instead, so that it can correctly connect up to all of the neighbors. Maybe even like this. Sure. So now, flamethrowers. Maybe I put those in here even. this something like this although that makes it difficult to figure out the pipes so maybe not but at the very least I'm going to need something like this I don't, know, don't want them exactly next to each other just to make them not to make the worms not splash on both of them on the other hand probably want to keep the entity count low so let's try something like this. instead. Let's try that. See how that works. Okay, that's good. Let's get started on prod module 2. And let's see here. Let's put them like this instead. gives quite a lot of coverage already. They want these one tile out to keep everything safe from big biters. That's enough for cell already. And these I can even place. Actually, I do need some more pipes. And these pipes will need to match up between cells. But yeah, this looks like it'll actually be a bit more agile in how I can place it. Maybe I want these here instead? Oh no, not quite, I don't think. Yeah, that is a lot less stuff. 56 pipes, 24 pipes, 12. Yeah, both are 12 normal pipes. Still 8 flamethrowers. No medium poles. But yeah, much fewer walls. So let's try this one instead. I'll make a copy of that so that I can just reuse the alignment settings. And uh, let's see, yeah. Let's see how this one works. a lot more compact. It 
won't have the same range, of course. But I think this might work out better. In order to can get started on these. Now this will also be much easier to just replicate like this if I need to. Before I do this, I need to move more materials down here. Specifically, underground pipes and flamethrowers. Oh wow. I have no underground pipes in the network. Okay, these are it, it seems. These are all I have. Okay, I need more iron, it seems. So, let's upgrade this. And figure out a way to put two belts into it, so I guess we can just upgrade all the way here. Actually. Need to upgrade down here. Let's just upgrade all of this. few components there. Maybe I can just replace some of these with a new design. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need more pipes to actually connect that to its neighbor. need that power pole as well. Oh. 
So that's one reason why this design used way fewer pipes. I suppose. Can I make this a bit more efficient in pipe usage, maybe? If I take these away, do these connect? Mm, one tile short. If I instead put them like this, maybe. That could save some on run pipes. So yeah, what if I do that? Ah, these will collide. Okay, so one space out then. Pipes is that then? Mm. Oh wait, I don't need all those, I need. Yeah, that works. Get rid of those. Mm. 
So how many pipes is that? Let's see. Twenty-eight underground pipes. So that does save a few. Question now is how is uh, flame recovery? It doesn't really cover itself internally. Which is a bit of a problem. That means if the binders get in here, then I can't really get them out. Unless the next cell would clean that up, but I don't think it really does. Guess I could also play, place mines in here, actually. I guess I can try that. Okay. What else do I need then? Let's get some mining productivity, I think. It's time for that. Maybe some electric, some substations, but... Yeah, sure. I'm gonna need those eventually, probably. So, clean these mines up a bit. I think that's this one. Yeah. And this one, and this one. Should make this symmetrical. Except for that one corner mine. One there too. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, clips. So, uh, let's try this one then. Okay, I'll make a copy of this one. Select new contents. There. 
So let's try that one then. Maybe I should extend I can do that later. I'm thinking I should extend these out so that I can remove them when I place a new cell. And then when I place the next cell, that one will include th those connections. I think this should... yeah, let's try this first. Oh, these connections... Understandable because this is not connected. Let's make another of these. Oh, these don't connect to themselves now. Hmm. That's not great. Well, I'll just do. Once this gets oil, I'll do another cell like this and see what happens. Are there enough pipes for this? No, mm, there are enough pipes. Are these coming? Hello? No, oh, there are not enough pipes, okay. isn't working. But, so these don't connect to themselves now because these are misaligned. lines. So what if I put the pipes on the inside instead then? Just like this. Still end up with the same problem, I guess. Unless I do it like this. But yeah, that uses a lot more pipes, or does it? Now that I have fewer underground pipes in the middle, maybe this can work out. Mm. 
So that is now... 32 underground pipes. That's okay, I suppose. Get a few more mines in the inside. Let's try that layout. For that, I'm going to need to connect up the pipes again. Okay, so those need to come in there. have a few more pipes in here, cool. So then let's try to do this. Okay, that's ready to go. Let's go over this one. I'm not sure if these mines will destroy the flamethrowers and the robot. Maybe they will. Okay, this is at least somewhat capable of defending itself. Yeah, because these can now reach the walls. Try one more cell. Uh, I need a radar here. I don't have radars down here. I should have radars down here. And probably storage chests too. Looks like all the flamethrowers I have in storage now are damaged. <laughs> Since they're building damaged uh, flamethrowers. This stuff looks, definitely seems to be working a lot better. At least when I can build it all in one go like this. Yeah, much better. So with this, I don't need to worry quite as much about um, about diff doing different things at a time. So I can just work in just one repeatable unit and not have to worry about too much about it. So let's do this. Maybe get rid of the mines too, just to keep this small. Leave the mines in for now. Okay. 
that's done. We can deconstruct that. And now I'm gonna place these two into the hot bar. And continue building those. I have enough for both of those, I think I do. those mines yeah I'll take these down as well I think let's make one uh, deconstruction plan for all these things so I can just take all of it down very easily regard to pipe connections and stuff like that. I think that should be all of this. Yep. Okay, and now let's get to mining productivity. And I'm just gonna take all of this down I think. I don't think I need this one even. one but I'll take down the flamethrowers then these do not connect okay I can make it more efficient so I'm thinking here if I should make a stripped down version that I can place after I've taken an area uh, successfully that I can just optimize down to a bit. Oh, and this should not have snapping. Let's just go like that. should have a relative snapping. Size 19 by 19. So I can do this. Constructed those pipes. Thank you. 
if I can make this so that it goes exactly one exactly in between there. Yes, yeah, so that would mean I need to make this have 25 offset. No, I would have to divide the grid by 3, which I cannot do. Because 50 does not divide by 3. I just need to research artillery, and then I don't need to worry about this again. It's probably the way to go. Because this really doesn't seem to be working. Like, at all. Let's see what happens when this gets back up, or when this comes up. Let's see if that can clear this. So I really need the flamethrowers to come down as at the same time as the pipes. Okay, but there's one running. That should help quite a lot. Alright, so this might actually work out in the end.
no, they're fetching materials from here. It's repair packs. Yeah, that's not great either. Yeah, repair packs and flamethrowers are being fetched from there. Yeah, and everything's being fetched from there. Okay, this doesn't really work either. Did some damage, but not enough. up to so one other thing I could do is just rotate these the other way But uh, yeah, then these are actually covering that angle, so it doesn't really matter all as much, I guess. Yeah, the robots are never gonna make it to this one to deconstruct it, I suppose. one either, probably. Oh, it did deconstruct it and <laughs> then get destroyed. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, let's get rid of this cell too. I wonder if all of that is in... No, all of that is not in range. So let's get these first. Wait, is it in range? It should be in range. Oh no, it's because of this one. a little bit of it that's not in range there. Okay, let's get rid of the rest. Probably pull this one in too. But I will leave these as a perimeter here. Just to keep the territory I have secured with this. But let's patch these walls up. Thank you. 
close this one too, just because mostly to make it symmetrical here. Uh, oh, these don't have oil. Yeah. Probably should get those connected just so they can actually help out if things get back in here. think I can. And these robots are too close to it. Come on, get it, get it, get it. No, so close. So what if I do this then? And a few decoys. No, oh, this one's getting. This one is too close by, though. Hmm. Got it. Okay. Get rid of this. And yeah, let's just research um, artillery and be done with this. Let's deconstruct these last few things as well. Radar coverage down here. So how far away am I from artillery then? Let's see, artillery, no, that's the range, that's there. Okay, I have a few technologies and some utility science packs. So probably not all too far away from artillery. So okay, uh, let's get started on improving a bunch of production here. So I'm going to set up some electric furnaces. And probably get a new hot bar. Furnace. It's not a furnace. So I guess I should probably design these for blue belts, maybe. Then again, I don't have blue belts. What, what do I need for blue belts? Probably need this one, right? There it is. Okay, so I need that science pack. So let's just do these for yellow belts for now, I suppose. They're equally fast as the coal-fired advanced ones, so I only need 12 per lane. But then, uh, let's see, if I want to put productivity modules in these, they will be slowed down by 10% at the maximum. Is it there? Yeah, fifteen percent at the maximum. Uh, 
and each can fit two modules, so that'll be slow down by 30%, which means I mean I need 30% more. But then they'll make 20% more stuff. So let me pull up my spreadsheet. Let's see here. Whoops. Uh, why did that show? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. Let's just do miscellaneous and let's see. So we have three point two seconds and we need that times twelve. No, wait, divided by 12. And then... Right, uh, let's do 1 divided by 3.2. And then that... Uh, times 12. Divide by two. Electric furnace is crafting time. Speed two. Yeah. It's one every three point two seconds, and then we have twelve of those, and each of them is co producing at. Two per second. Oh yeah, because I need twenty four for a full lane. Then, huh? Okay, what is it that's making these alerts? Oh, it's these out here, okay. Just need to deconstruct them. Let's see if we can do that without them getting destroyed. Okay, good. We can clean that up. That. Okay, back to the spreadsheet. So, so we have twenty-four machines at crafting speed two. Uh, producing one thing every three point two seconds. Okay, so that. Why was I just failing this one? Because I was... Yeah, because I was dividing instead of multiplying. Yeah, okay, so it's 24 machines, but then if I do instead... 
if I instead have this one times zero point eight. So I have 0 0.8 and then times 1 point, no it's 0 0.7 actually for two modules and then times 1.2 for two modules. Okay, and then I need to figure out how many of these I need for 15. So then that's going to be equals this, divide away that. So we'll have 15 plates of input. No. Let's see. We want 15 plates of output. So we're going to take that, divided by. 1.2, which is our productivity. That's how many recipes we need to make per second, or yeah, per second. Uh, and then we'll divide it by 0 0.8, which is the crafting speed modifier. So now we need to take that, divide it by 2. Which is the crafting speed now times two. No, wait. Yeah, divided by two. And then time take that times 3.2, which is the uh, recipe time. Huh. So that means I need exactly 25 machines to make 15 plates of output a second with this productivity module 2 really or productivity module 3 that's much less than i thought Okay, let's go with that. So I need uh, 25 machines then. And I'll just make... Yeah, I'll just make this all on one line because I, it's far... 25 is not an even number. So let's just do two slides. And I guess I can output on a red belt instead. Don't have one with the red belts. Let's make this one with the red belts. But then each of these can be fed with a yellow belt. Right? No, they cannot. They can be fed with a little less than a red belt. Each. Yeah, and these are all going to have ammonia. So I guess I need to get one of these into my inventory first, or placed next to me. Uh, so if to make those we need uh, steel plates, circuits, and stone bricks. So I should place that here instead of the labs. Uh, this does not need to be on that side specifically. So let's just move that here. And reconfigure this one to make electric furnaces instead. 
that needs steel circuits and stone bricks, so only stuff from this side. So this is going to have to move there, so I can put that there and move this one here. Stone bricks are here, so I'm gonna have to move this one slightly. That one will work as long as there are less than, say, 200 of those in the network. need this to be placed. Oh, a robo horse are all down here. Huh? Oh, is this not covered anymore? Oh, I just disconnected that whole thing from the network. Wow. So let's see if we can get connection back up if I do this. Will that now be built? Yes, okay. So that'll re-establish connection. Move this up as well. And the others. These can stay down here. And <laughs> now they're gonna need to go recharge. comes the robot word. But anyway, I can keep designing this while I wait for that. So that's 25 on each side. to be one full belt on each side, so I can just do that. And there. Yeah, it's gonna be enough. Copy this one into library. I uh, actually want to make it face this way. Just to make the blueprint nice. Yeah, then we can pull two of these at a time, or four of these at a time, even. Oh, wait, and that's gonna need modules, too. So there. Is this back up? Yes, okay. So we have some engines there, or furnaces there. So this should come down soon. There it comes. That. And put this there. And then replace all of those with uh, this module one. No? Okay. There then? Okay. Wait, is this not all of the machines? It's 26. Why did this get misaligned?
Well, I guess, yeah. I guess I messed up the repetition size on that, I suppose. set up some assemblers for up the higher modules but yeah but those yeah those require blue circuits so I don't have those yet so let's do this first for now I think I just want to place it down here yeah let's just place it here These pipes are a bit in the way though. Put them out here. And I'll put one next to it for copper. See how I get past this here. Guess I can pull it up this way and cross over here with red underground these. Maybe down one time so I don't need to worry about the rubber port. out there. Oh, because I guess we were going across here. <sighs> Maybe I should just... Although I need to stay out here because of this oil, so I can't fall back. Eh. I'll just live with it for now. Okay, so these are coming up. Uh, yes, I will actually oops, also just merge these here. Oops. I don't want to do red belts all the way because they're still quite expensive. But at least from here I think I just want to do red belts. So, out this way, and I'll need, f let's see, I need three of these belts up there, maybe even more. I can almost consume three whole belts up here. But I can take out at least one belt this way. Oh, let's, wait, wait, it's five. Yes, yeah, so this can almost consume five whole red melts, or five whole yellow melts already. 
I, I can take out a few of these this way. Let's do something like that. Go to this one in here. twice as much copper for this as iron anyway, because they intend to use these to produce green circuits. Let's put that in, uh, didn't leave one space there, put that in here, and the other one there. visible behind the shrubbery there. there. Let's make sure we have coverage. How much belts do I have now? Uh, quite a few actually. Still way more yellow than red. Actually not. I have quite a lot of red belts, actually. But anyway, these are going to be used for green circuits. So something like this. Maybe want a more efficient layout, but let's see here. to feed one of these at half speed. Maybe one is enough actually. Or 70% speed. Looks like one is enough. And one of these is probably enough too. So for that I'll take out the spreadsheet again. Now I can go over here to Marathon. And let's see, for green circuits if I have one factory... Uh, what are these? I don't remember what these are. Okay, one factory. That's 075. And I have... Right, these are only programmed for... Um, oh yeah, but I... So if I have two Productivity 2 modules, can I get away with just three? No, I still need four. Okay. Back to the game. So I still need four assemblers of those for each. But okay, so here I can get rid of that one. Meaning I can do like this. Need iron in here. Oops. Right, so how many can I feed with uh, one belt then? Uh, that's. Okay, it looks like I can feed five of them. 
Wait, uh, if I have productivity modules. Yeah, two. In each. Uh, that's 25. I can feed seven of them with one belt of iron. And four copper cables per each is still close enough. Okay, so I can feed seven of them on one belt of iron. And then I need two belts of copper. Okay. So this is gonna be output or no? Is it? How many is one are these gonna make per second? If I put full modules into them. So one makes 1.2 per second. Can one red inserter handle that? Let's see, 432 degrees. That is 1.2. So it looks like one red inserter can actually handle that output. So let's try that then. Then we just need one belt there, and one belt there, and output on that belt. Then I can just replicate this. So one, two, three. Let's use the space here. And four, five, six, seven. And then I need to feed some extra copper in somewhere halfway. So like there. Let's do it in a few places. Like after each of them, maybe. Should be a full green science or green circuit factory. It almost matches up perfectly against these as well. Let's put it there. Uh, let's get rid of that. Facing the wrong way now. There. So you can do half of that iron in there. 
and half of it off somewhere else. And then uh, this can just go up this way. And split like that. Can actually do like that even. should be enough. So then we can bring these green circuits in up here, for example. Yeah, that's probably where we're consuming most of them. Take down these personal transport belts, most of them at least. Rarely, if ever, going to need them anymore. And then uh, let's run the green circuit belt up this way. Let's also put a lane balancer here just for good measure. Through there, yeah. Okay. And merge it in there. And we're done. Except when we need some more robot coverage. Just these. Get a pole there. Here we can recycle some modules. Oh, these are now actually producing more red circuits than I ha can use. Wow. Okay, so maybe it's time to build out the science factory? Why are these not working? Engines. Not enough pipes? Okay, not enough pipes. So not enough iron. That's because it's being split twice. Let's see, can I, am I using all the iron I have? I am, okay, so maybe means I need more iron output as well. I 
And this one also needs iron pipes, or iron sticks, rather. So I should fix that up eventually. Let's just do that like that. Put a stick assembler there. And an inserter there. That should fix that up. And I can also get roboport coverage for these chests down here. So put it like this. And then I can finally trash this. So how are these doing? Those are working. Cool. There's a belt missing. Right, I needed more iron, so I can just take this one. Pull this one all the way up here, oops. All the way over here. And then we need to feed this into here. So like here. all covered. It's maybe this one is not covered though. The cliff. Let's get that covered too. And that should... oh yeah, and I also need to connect this. Let's move this slightly over this way. And then I can put that there and have a dedicated iron input there. Actually, let's wait. Not deconstruct this just yet. <laughs> right. I was initially researching the iron furnaces so that I, or the electric furnaces so that I could put efficiency modules in them and therefore uh, oh yeah I guess this actually needs to yeah, I need to put this one into uh, I researched these initially so that I can put efficiency modules in them and therefore reduce pollution and now instead I've ended up putting productivity modules in them and vastly increasing the amount of pollution they make. Oops. Are these working? Yeah, these are starting to work. like the inserters are able to keep up here. I suspect when these get their modules that I won't need quite as many inserters here anymore though. Oh yeah, and these actually have stack bonus now I think? 
Yeah. So it's probably already enough. is nowhere near enough. Maybe once this gets up and running. Oh, no power. Oops. Okay, more mining productivity is nice. Now I think I just need to get moving toward the higher science packs. See, I guess I just need this one to make purple ones. Wow. Yeah, these nests are getting quite, kind of close now, right? It's up. Because <laughs> one row of these is enough to fill a whole red belt. Uh, right, so I have goofed here. Oh. Yep. So let's redesign this again. So one of those is enough to fill a whole red belt. So let's see. 25 doesn't divide evenly in two. So right around here, I need to go this way. This this needs to split something like this. To put one on each side. And then we can merge it back together over here. whole thing with that instead, I suppose. This is not really useful to have these whole things. If they're not only working on at half capacity, it's not really useful to have them there. let them uh, run out of their resource before I, before I deconstruct them. 
like here. This is all empty. Does this count? No, this doesn't count, of course. As soon as these empty out. No ingredients. Okay. Wait, are, do these still contain stuff? No. Okay. Let's take those away. Take. But I still need to leave those for the power. Um, power holes. Okay, now these are done. here. Now I just need to redo this belt. Right. I guess this guy should be a yellow belt at this point. And only here do I need to merge them into a red belt. All needs to be red. Because these are both two half lanes of red, so still needs to be red. Storing it down here for some reason. Oh, yeah, let's not do that. Does not have filter? No, this doesn't, didn't have a filter. Ugh. It's clumsy of me. Okay, we're full on green circuits here. At least that's something. And we're full on plastic again. Cool. Can trash this now. This iron out 
input needs to be wired up. two inserters on each of those anymore. And these need to be upgraded though. speed hopefully. Let's also have a look here. I don't think these need two inserters any either now that we have increased inserter capacity. Yeah this is fully fed. Well, I can upgrade these inserters or uh, assembling machines. Should maybe uh, put some productivity modules in these two. Okay, it's a shame having to. Oh. Whoops. It's a shame having to remove these so, or replace them and lose all this. Oh, but I already lost the products finished. Okay. case I'll just replace them with module ones. Same with these. Oops. Okay, let's research this so I have that available. to finish out first or do I no I don't really care I have a uh, recycling stuff set up for those already uh, so still probably can support Wait, why is this Yeah, 
don't really need one more for iron right now, do I? No, I don't really, I don't think. So just place a couple for copper instead. We'll do one and two. And that was iron, and this is copper. See if that is able to feed all this. Yeah, I designed this for yellow belt input, right? So I can probably just double this up. Do these have enough pipes now? They should have enough pipes, I think. It's 24 machines. So let's see, 24 of those will produce, or they will require uh, 2.4 times 2, so about 5 pipes per cycle. And one of these will produce two pipes per cycle. Okay, so I do need f a few more pipe assemblers, actually. Uh, so I guess I need to make some more space here. Either that or move them out here. For that I need to move the sulfur line, but I can do that. Just get rid of this belt. Let's move it in next to these.
put that over there so I can split this iron vein. That way I can put the assemblers here. Just mirror them over this way. And I guess I should set up a recycling thing for the sulfur as well. So I can do like uh, this maybe. get sulfur and I need input priority there too on the right And all the sulfur will be reprocessed or returned into the system of up here. No? Oh, I guess I already have some in a chest there. Does this mean I also need more uh, gears actually? I need half as much gears as I need pipes. So yeah, I need 2.4 gears per cycle and these make only two, or this one makes only two. So let's try to fix that as well. Throw that splitter down here. And I can maybe place a pipe or gear somewhere here somewhere. And I just need to get these onto that belt. Pull this way down here. Put that there. Don't actually even need to go all the way. Ah, I will anyway. Just to make this input a bit of a little nicer. Oh, this has item ingredient shortage. We'll see. I think this might be able to keep up, maybe? Right, I was planning here to make red circuit assemblers for direct insertion here. Do I want to do that, maybe? I have enough uh, green circuits now, probably. But I also have enough red circuit production here, really. 
it seems, maybe. Let's wait and see here. Am I out of assemblers? Item ingredient shortage. Oh, because this is on the wrong belt. a bit low. Let's make it 250. This probably doesn't need to be prioritized anymore. That was mostly for the ammo. Which I am not heavily reliant on anymore. But yeah, here I think it's time to upgrade these. I can also upgrade this steel furnace fully. Like that. Hmm. Now this iron is completely backed up. Wow. This is also back in working order, it seems. Looks like I may have failed in my computations, though. Maybe that really only works for level 3 modules.
Wait, so 24? Yeah, 24 is long enough for half a, half a belt, right? So I need to split this one. Some good way. Guess I just need to move these. also need to be split. I guess the robots are just moving plates and all right now. And they should not be bringing it down here. But they aren't. Are there any chests somewhere else that I'm missing? Or are they just going to charge? I guess they're just charging. It looks like they're bringing everything up here. Okay. Oh, this is out of steel. Okay. Which is why I need this to be upgraded. Okay, but that is finished. Okay. That's good. such a mess <laughs> just because I was trying to be clever and failing at it. That can most consume. So these are base is oh yeah, these are much less energy efficient than these actually. So 
See how with the modules, they these are yeah, 300 kilowatts a piece, and this is 144 of them. So divide by three. That's oh, about what? About 50 megawatts. See, I'm gonna need more power. Maybe put a power plant somewhere here. See, yeah, I won't be able to feed it with solid fuel, it seems. Because I'm using all of that for petroleum. Apparently. So when is this... So, okay, let's redo this a bit. Uh, we only need, we only want to be doing this if we have too little petroleum. Which means this should have another condition. Which is... That... Petroleum... than 20k, say. And then that will be output. Go back there and paste those settings. Wait, and I also need to connect it to the pole. This is greater or equal to 2. It should make these only make petroleum if we have too much of it. Or too little of it. So now they're making petroleum just because they can, and then these are rendering it down into solid fuel in a much less efficient way. Could disable these and just have these make um, solid fuel out of directly out of light oil instead, which is more efficient, which is better when we have less solid fuel that we can use. Okay, so now these are disabled. So now this will start backing up, and once that hits 20,000, this one will start working turning that into solid fuel instead. So this should soon run out. Wait, what's the... Yeah, this is running if this is more than 20,000, I think. So soon these should shut off. that dips under 20,000 this oh yeah there it is it turns red I guess it's rounding up or something 
Yeah, that's now red, so these will stop working momentarily. Meanwhile, this is backing up to soon to be 20,000, so this should turn red any minute now. Or this should turn green any minute now. Any second now. over oh, yeah, okay that's already back down no no back up okay so now these are working to put to turn this into solid fuel instead which as you can see is much more efficient than we had out of these okay but anyway I won't be able to feed the power plants with only solid fuel anyway I think I think these will keep consuming all the all the solid fuel I have Probably. So I don't think I can power another power plant on only the solid fuel. But on the other hand, this is about twice as efficient as this, I think. So 10, 20... 20 and uh, yeah, just out of these if you go by just these numbers it's about twice as efficient to do it out of petroleum gas or out of light oil than petroleum gas but then you also get 25 So 25 over 40, so you get like 18 or something. Light of a lot of cracking in as well. So yeah, that heavy oil can also turn into solid fuel quite efficiently. Yeah, and this gives you less petroleum gas than light oil, and this consumes more petroleum gas than light oil, so yeah. Cracking and then making solid fuel out of petroleum is a lot less efficient than making it out of just solid fuel directly. So maybe this actually can? Oh yeah, it does actually look like it almost can feed this. So, let's see here. Do we oh wow, this is actually backing up. fuel camp plants, I guess, is what this means. Which means I need to figure out a way to get this petroleum gas up there instead, so I guess I can run it this way. Merge it into these pipes up here. actually. I don't really need to get in here anymore. So then I can straighten that out here. connect 
that to these boards. instead. Yeah, and then I need to redo this connection, which was uh, quite bitterly to do. So I'm gonna need some space for this. I rarely need to move anymore, but sometimes I need to, just to do these kinds of things. Get okay, over here. So now I guess I can just do like this and then get the wire ready. And wait for the robots to finish this for me. out great. Uh, not many more assemblers though, or chem plants. Anyway, I need to connect this. And did I connect the conditions there too? Let's see. Okay, yeah, I guess. I did not connect this uh, the settings. Uh, okay, so what settings was that? That is heavy oil splitting. So it means it's gonna be this signal. It's gonna be the that signal greater than zero. Well, for those two, this pipe is no longer needed. I 
I guess I can get rid of some of these and just elongate this down. Now I'm actually running low on petroleum. to feed this whole thing with light fuel. So if this is working full speed, that's 12 of them making uh, 6 solid fuel per second. Right? 12 divided by 2. Yeah, 6 solid fuel per second. So that's 6 times 12. That's how much? 62, 72 megajoules. Okay, that's actually enough to feed half, or to feed exactly one of these. So, if these are at about half load, then yes, they will actually be able to run mostly on solid fuel. But if they peak out at 144, then I will only be able to feed one of them, or half of each. Okay, so finally this is starting to finish up again. So that will raise the power load again. Hmm, now it's actually assemblers consuming most of the eye energy. Yeah, I guess those get also get quite expensive when you have productivity modules in them. Producing a purple science packs yet. Uh, so let's get to working on the other modules, I guess, or maybe rocket fuel. What else is there? Concrete is needed eventually to make the silo, if nothing else. I'm not sure if I'll do nuclear power this run. I would need to go out and take either this or that uranium. Missing material? Okay, I guess that means this is no longer in the network. Yeah. Has it ever been? Isn't it? Yeah, it is. So what are these on about? Are the networks not connected? Oh, they are. Are they just not? No, there are enough robots. So what's this about? Maybe it's just the lag thing that happens when you have too many build orders out at one time.
Maybe I should also set up a bigger module factory at this point. I can just copy paste this like up here. Because I don't think I need all that much space for sulfur, sulfuric acid. I don't think. Maybe I'll just bring these belts down this way instead. Yeah, let's do that instead. Also clean up these power poles. Yay! And yeah, these can just be on one belt even. to be on the network, so yeah, that's fine. I need some belts coming down this way. Can already deconstruct this, I think. Straighten this out. way. And I guess now I should set up some... Uh, oh right, this is my main <laughs> red circuit production now. I had forgotten about this one. Yeah, this one needs more copper input, doesn't it? Mostly for the green circuits. So I guess I could pull my green circuit belts up there too. Maybe. Back to here. Oh, whoops. That's not great. This needs to go like that. And then this can continue. We need to clean this up. So I guess I should also set up some recycling for red circuits. I can do that up here. It's not in the network though. So I'll need to expand rover coverage up here. Like that maybe. Red 
red circuits in there. Oh, can't even use this one. There, and power pole. Let's do the same for green circuits. So oh, I already have green circuits here, right? No, I don't. It's time to finally move this out slightly so that I can pull this one down like this, place this one there, and then I can put this one there. And I need to upgrade this, and this one needs to have the right filter. Finally, have <coughs> recycling for red and green circuits. So let's get those back in circulation. Do we have any green anywhere? I guess not. Somehow. Do I have a recycler? Oh, yeah, I have one over here somewhere. Yeah, there. Right, okay, so I don't actually need that one. And this one feeds into both the science and uh, the mall, yep. Okay, so how are these doing? These are all working, almost. Oh yeah, they're all working. There it is. Okay. That's good. These are all working. Also very good. Yeah, except for these, because this one is disabled. But yeah, that should help bring down the number of modules we're missing. These are working now, cool. But yeah, this one is, let's see. This is, oh. one up in order as well and right I think this actually needs to rejigger the belt a bit because it's kind of probably gonna get full now belt pretty much so this should be able to feed all these now
So somewhere around here I'll need to to re-trigger the belt or yeah, rearrange the sides a bit. So I'll need to do that and that. So that all the machines can output their things. Let's see if that works. It's finally time to upgrade the labs to expand. It's easy to do. And we'll see if uh, these SM or inserters are enough, or if I need them to be upgraded inserters as well. These are not all upgraded with the productivity modules either. Let's get that fixed. Still, a lot many productivity modules short, but these should help fix that. Sort of capacity. Oh, that only has, uh, affects the stack ones for now. Anything else I can do? This brings me closer to artillery, I guess. So let's do that one. Okay, these are fully fed. Almost all, oh, they're not fully fed with iron. Oh, but they should be, shouldn't they? I think one belt should be enough for one of those. Then. Let's do out of priority left. Let's have the bots bring me a few of these things.
not priority left of that one. Down here. Read these two. Okay, now, it's, now this is more than one yellow belt, or maybe it's just backed up. Yeah, I guess it's just backed up. Okay, we have more than enough there. So I guess we'll bring some plastic down here and make some red circuits too. So we can split off this one. Let's go this way, I think. to go down a bit. And I need this to go away. So now let's see what we need to make red circuits. So one of these takes six seconds, and one of these takes half a second, so that's four copper cables per cycle. And one of these consumes, or six of these consume eight per cycle, so one of those can feed three of those. Is that what I have here? Not quite, but... Eh, I guess this also works. Let's just copy that layout and put it down here. I guess this does consume more productivity modules though. This way. Oh, but I can optimize it a bit. I can use just one for each two of these. Uh, so yeah. Make that instead. So copper. copper in there, uh, green circuits and plastic in there, and red circuits out there. And let's see, one of those consumes two copper per cycle. So, six of these is two per second, so this can support one, two, three of those with those green circuits. Oh, wait, but it can't support all that with, with the plastic. So that is already f eight plastic per cycle. <laughs> And one half yellow belt is seven and a half. Okay, so what now? I'm kind of running out of things to do. Let's get uh, the modules, I guess. So this should be a good enough unit, I think. Okay, and this one will go like here maybe. Yeah, let's put a few here. So we can do like one and a two. So we can take this circuit and, yeah, put one half of it in here. And the other half in here. And then we need copper. So I think we probably have a bit of surplus here. So let's do 
clasped belts all the way down here, I guess. Let's pull some of it off. I guess these also need to be red in that case. And let's do red uh, splitters. Can pick those up now. way. No wait, that's the plastic. So this needs to go there instead. And these need input inserters. So there it is. Yellow belt there. Splitter there. Oops. Uh, yeah. And keep going up this way. Splitter there. And then we need the plastic here too. Let's put it in here approximately. Is this working? Or as soon as I connect this. So with this I can also get started making some blue circuits, probably somewhere around here. Speed module 2, let's get efficiency module as well. Oh, are these out of, yeah, these are out of range. Should, yeah, that covers all of them. Oh. <laughs> okay, most of these are run out, okay. It's just this one remaining. These don't really need to be here anymore. This is no longer needed, the ammo belt is no longer needed. belt up this way as well. And then we can use some of it for these. Like that.
these are fully fed already. Yeah. Oh, they're even backing up. Wow. Am I low on red science of all things? Oh, because this is low on iron. Let's upgrade this belt, I guess. That's not right. Uh, yeah, it needs to be just this one. Ugh. Horrible. Right, now, yeah, nice red circuit input there. Uh, looks like this copper is gonna be enough to feed both of those, so we're gonna have a bit of surplus that we can pull up here and put in here. can thread it through the entire base somehow. Maybe I can go right here. Okay, and now let's get the uh, rocket fuel. So I'll put this belt here.
guess that's not enough to feed all of it. Okay. So let's get another splitter here then. We'll pull this one up this way. Try to find a way to thread it in here. This one actually can cross over all the way. Perfect. And there. Should get a bit more copper into this as well. So why are these not working now? Oh. Well, because this has not arrived yet. Okay. There we go. Yeah, these are nicely fed now. Oh, so we're... Oh, we're finally positive on modules for the first time in quite a while. Pretty sweet. Okay, let's see if there are any other modules we can recycle here. Just a few. Maybe here. Oh, here's some hidden iron. Mind. And yeah, this one's done. And that looks like about all here. So I guess with that it's time to get started on either purple science or blue circuits. I think I'll do purple science first. So that needs stone, iron, steel, a bunch of things. Uh, okay, let's try to figure out the ratios here. I do have this in my spreadsheet, but I just want to do it again, I guess. So, uh, 21 of these is one cycle. Um, let's see. So I've done... For these, I've done twice the crafting speed to make two per cycle. And for those I did equal to yeah so for this I need to do one and a half times the crafting time which is a bit awkward I guess I'll just do 21 I think so that makes the math easier uh, I just need to make one electric furnace per cycle uh, right yeah because 21 of these do yeah 21 of these do one recipe per cycle so i need one electric furnace per cycle and for that i need five electric furnace numbers and i need one productivity module per cycle so for that i need 15 of those I guess I can just do direct insertion of those, actually. Makes it a bit easier. And what else? I need 30 rails. Uh, which is 4 per cycle. So I need 7.5 of those. Rail. 
So eight. So let's see what that can look like. I have twenty one of these. It's twenty four, so twenty one. And then I'm doing direct insertion of these. Um, I need a fifteen, right? So I can't really do two for each either. So yeah, so I'll just do one of each for those. Leave one more space in between. Like that. And then these need green and red circuits input. And then these need output as well. Let's do it this way. Now let's see. Uh, then I need these to come in something like oh, something like that. That's gonna be these. Well, these also need three in ingredients, right? Yeah. Oh, and these need bricks and these need stone. So maybe I want to smelt this on site as well. Uh, so five of those consume ten stone bricks per second. And stone brick is produced at... Right. Well, that's one third of a yellow belt. And one third... One whole yellow belt is twelve of these times two. So one third of that's gonna be four times two. Then I can put them all on one side if I want to. It's probably more compact actually. Put them like this or like that. Let's see. And uh, these need iron sticks and steel plates. And iron sticks are two and a half a second. And these are one and a half a second. So I need one iron stick for each of those. for each two of those. Yeah, let's do it like that. And... Yeah, these are gonna need to be fast ones. Yeah, one of each, so one is order is enough. Okay, so that's gonna be stone and steel. And this also needs steel and stone, but stone bricks instead. So... I guess we can do stone and steel like that. Split it. And like that, and then this goes in there. This actually works out pretty nicely. So then we'll have both input and output on the same belt. Will that work? I have to make sure I don't get any 
Yeah, I guess I can just do this. So first, make sure these line up, and then, yeah. Then I can just filter out the stones. Uh, filter stone that way. Pull that all the way back. And merge it back in with an input priority from the left. There. And then this can make these guys, and then I also need red circuits input here. So let's see, I can put these. Can just extend this. No, wait. Oh yeah, still. Actually, wait. Uh, will this be enough to output all of that? Four per second. One is not going to be enough to output all <coughs> to output all of that. See, so yeah, I need to. I need two output inserters for each. Unless I do no. Unless I do the input belt on the other side, but I don't think I really can do that. Yeah, we we'll just do this. And then output will be here. But I'm gonna do this instead. Because I don't really need to save space in this direction. This allows me to move these power poles to here. I don't even need these power poles. Oh. Alright, and then I can just run this belt this way. And move this one up one space, or yeah, everything down one space. And then have output this way. So that is five seconds, right? Yeah. So these can just be like that. And input like this. <coughs> Almost. Input. And output. It's going to be red circuits input there. And that should do it. So let's see how much in total this is. That is actually quite a lot of steel. But yeah, I think this is the only thing that needs iron plates, right? So let's see, I'm going to be consuming, yeah, 30 rails per cycle. Which means 15 of these recipes, which means 15 iron sticks per cycle. Is it really only that? Oh, but it's counting these as well into the total iron. Okay, so 15 iron sticks per cycle. What's going on? Okay. 15 iron sticks per cycle is 7.5 iron per cycle. Okay, so one belt of iron is enough. And 15 of these is... Yeah, 15 of those is 15 steel per cycle. So, okay, I need a full belt of steel there. Uh, a full 
So this needs to be red. For the steel. And for the... Uh, these... Yeah, that's 10 steel, so this also needs to be red for the steel input. So what about the circuits? It's 5, so circuits uh, only needs to be yellow. And 10 stone bricks, which means 20 st raw stone. Uh, which means this is not going to be enough. Wait. Is that going to be enough? Eight divided by... So 16 divided by 3.2 is a bit more than four. So it's about four per second. How did I get that up to... How did I get this to eight? stone bricks, that's 20 stone per second. Yeah, so this is not going to be enough. And this is going to have to be a... a uh, um, what am I saying? This is going to have to be a, a blue belt if I want it to go work like this. So this is not going to work. I'm going to need a red belt of stone. Just for this. Um, and down here, see of 15. See a 15 stone. Yes, yeah, so that's 15, so that's 35 stone per second. So I'm gonna need more than one red belt of stone per second here. need 15 steel per second those need 10 steel per second that was going to be stone but I will come have to come in here instead Yeah, that should be enough. And then these 15 of those consume 5 of each circuit per second, so that's fine. Uh, 
And let's see here. The steel comes in on the right side. I guess I can actually just do like this for the steel. No, wait. Oh yeah, right. I was going to just output it on the, the <coughs> on that bio belt right away. So I don't need that. that. Yeah, I think this should do it. So, let's find a place for this. I'm going to need red and green circuits, and I need iron and steel. Probably take some of this iron and smelt into steel down here. Just make another smelting line there. Uh, yeah, so I think I'll just place it here. I don't need to thread the stone down here. Or actually, we have stone here. So instead, I can run the red circus around this way. And then I have most of what I need in here, actually. So maybe I'll put it here. Somewhere around here, maybe. Like, maybe there? Maybe move this roboport a bit. Rocket fuel is finished. Low density structures will be needed. So what if I flip it? So I need iron on, on the left here. This kind of works, it seems, I guess, without having to move too much stuff. Yeah, let's go with this. Just squeeze it in like that. Uh, so, that's gonna be able to feed this. Mostly. And then here I need it steel and stone. And let's see, that was... Okay, exactly one belt of each. Right, and I need another furnace down here for steel. one of it to handle steel instead. That. Get rid of that. And there. That's now a steel furnace instead. And bring it all the way around. Oh. 
bring it all the way around on here and in there. So then I need to run it up this way. out here, splits up there, and goes in there. And then I need stone and I need red and green circuits. So let's take some of this. I guess. And those need to go over here. They also need the red circuits here actually, so I'll just mm, get those on first, I think. So we have a bit of space there that I can spaghetti through. Some spaghetti through here. merge them already. These can go away. And finally I need a stone up here. Wait, did I put these on the wrong one? Steel is going there. Uh, right, I need red circuits here too. Forgot about that. So then I need one more per cycle, so that's fine. I can just put that here, but I also need... Steel... Okay, so I have that. So I just need the red circuits up here. Going up this way. So maybe I should not merge them yet, actually. So that I can do that down here instead. Uh, yeah, because then I need the circuits here. This kind of collides a bit. Seven only, even. So, where's the stone? There's the stone. It'll come in from here. Oh, wait, but this needs to be more than one red belt in total. So, I guess I'm gonna need to. Build more belts from here. I actually don't even have enough miners for that. To feed this fully.
So at least this belt is going to be completely dedicated to that. And then I need the other one in here. for this. Okay, let's get rid of these power poles. And slap this down. Something like that. Should be enough. Is this within coverage? Looks like it is. Although not... Mm, maybe not completely. Place another rubber foot here to make sure. And these melts can come out here. this so that I can do something like this and like this. I think that should probably do. can do out of the very right. Make sure everything lines up. <laughs> I don't have enough labs. Because there are no belts in here, of course. Uh, let's just make a belt assembly here then. actually doesn't need to filter out the red circuits. Ah. Whatever, it's fine. Output full, item ingredient shortage. And that's this one waiting for stone. So this one has stone. Ah, because these have not started running yet. Okay, there they there it is. see here. I said I needed 10 per second. No. Yes, 10 per cycle. And these can only make a little less than that. 
So for 10 per cycle I'm going to need 16, I think. Yeah, because 3.5 divided by 8, 3.2 divided by 8 is 0 0.4. Yeah, 0 0.4, which means uh, these will produce one stone every 0 0.4 seconds. And I need them to produce one stone every 0 0.25 seconds. So, let's see here. Uh, I need... 10 per second, uh, which times 3.2 crafting speed divided by 2, or crafting time divided by 2 crafting speed. Yeah, it means I need 16 of them. So 10 per second times 3. In two seconds divided by two dimensionless. Yeah. So I need sixteen of those. Uh, yeah. So let's move these up simply. Double this whole thing. That means I can't fit this whole thing in down here. It seems. Should do it. Okay, now we have a bit of science here already. Cool. So let's get that into the labs. And let's merge these two like here maybe. And I'll use the inner belt for now I think. So this just needs to go this way, and then up this way. There, that should do it. Once these are back down. This also needs connection. How's the steel going? Oh, this is out of range. Inserter. Uh, let's see, that inserter up there, it's this one. And let's see, there. Maybe I don't actually want that there. Yeah, 
from that up here instead. So it's easy to keep expanding this way with the furnaces if I need to. Oh, this isn't really getting a lot of iron. It should be getting all of the surplus at least. So yeah, I guess this is just being completely consumed. So we're gonna need more iron mines soon enough. If I pause that... yeah. So it looks like this is backed up, but I am consuming all the iron here. So, I need more iron mines. Is this completely consumed? Yes. Where is more iron? There is more iron. So I guess I'm going to get, get, have to get back on this stuff again. And uh, expand the borders again. Probably way before I can get to artillery as well. Yeah, and I'm going to need even more steel for low density structures for yellow science too. <laughs> right, and this end isn't even a full belt of steel. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need way more steel furnaces for this. And yeah, way more iron. Okay, at least these are placed now. Yeah, but this doesn't have any circuits. Why? No circuits are from here. Why are these not working? Oh, no? Oh, here. Ah, I guess this is supposed to go that way. Okay. So since I have less of this stuff that I need, I guess I should get started on making blue circuits so that I can make better modules. Maybe I can even make level 3 modules. Yeah, I'm gonna need to research that in that case. So where do I want to make blue circuits then? These not oh there there's not enough plastic okay there's, yeah there's not enough plastic production which is because there are there is not enough coal input that's no good. Yeah these are being fully consumed. the power it seems. So what about this? Uh, these are making solid fuel which is yeah being eaten up. Yeah not enough for the coal is getting here to the plastic. Okay we have plenty of petroleum but not enough coal. By the way these Oh yeah, these are also working, of course, because we have too much petroleum and not enough coal. Yeah, but these are not working though, which is correct. Okay, so this is working as intended at least. Is it more or less efficient to make heavy oil into light oil and then you? So that gives 30 per 40, so that's a 
25% reduction or 75% retainment and these are twice as efficient as those so yes it is more efficient to crack this into light oil and then make it into solid fuel before instead of just making it directly into solid fuel so it is correct that these are not working while these are that's done let's get working on those modules because i think we have at least a trickle of science here so even if it's slow it's at least coming Now this is backed up. Yeah, so now more of the iron is going into the steel. Hmm. That's cool at least. So yeah, I was I was up here because I was considering what where to make uh, blue circuits. But yeah, I guess I just need more coal and power stuff. So maybe that's a reason to actually go out and take uh, get to um, nuclear power. I actually can do that with just the three first sciences. I don't really need coverex to do that in a good way. I can just store up the AU-238. Uh, maybe that's enough reason to go get this one. I could also expand oil production because I have... Yeah, I have more crude oil than I can use. So I could also just expand this. Or place uh, speed modules into it. I suppose speed modules could be a good start. Oh wait, now this is making more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess that fluctuates a bit depending on how much power I'm using. Let's see, plastic. Oh yeah, and then way back up. Huh? Why is this fluctuating? I guess. More than one belt per belt, no? Okay, well there is more more coal there at least, so I could just uh, just mine that and pull that in. Yeah. Should just do that, I guess. Uh, so let's clear out. Oh, but I need to move those pipes first. And these also, maybe? I think I, yeah, I can just do with those pipes. So these can just go away. pipes actually. These 
is also not connecting to anything anymore. Nor are these. Okay, but these are... No, not quite. Not really. Yeah, but these are. Okay, so these can stay. Most of these can be cleaned up a bit. Alright, so let's move that pipe up a bit, I suppose. Needs to go around there, maybe. So, right there. Is that enough? Looks like enough. Deconstructor here. Let's just use that one, and here we go. Take all that away. Get rid of this power pole. Yep, yeah, and then we can just copy paste a mine onto that. Let's see. Is this one big enough? Not quite. So let's just take this one. That one down here. It's a bit overkill, I suppose. We can do that. Let's see, I want to get these ones in line down there. up. Yeah, and that covers all of it, so let's just get rid of all this chaff. Uh, those pipes need to stay, though. Okay, yeah, let's get rid of this one, too. Because that's really only like four belts. One, two, three, four, yeah. Four belts. So we can do a classic four to four balancer. And yeah, that's good enough. Now, do I want to just pull it up here? Feed it directly into the power plant. I can feed it directly into this power plant, and that will um, put less pressure on the other one, on the other copper or coal mine. Can get rid of this service belt. Yeah. 
one's working hard. Oh wow. Okay, looks like we are... It looks like the bursts on these robots are taking us quite a bit over. Oh? Oh, demand is like 200 megawatts now. Where's all that coming from? So these are like a 100 megawatts? Where's all that demand coming from? Okay, so maybe that is enough reason to go for the nuclear then. Uh, or I could just spam down a bunch of power plants down here, I suppose. Yeah, that also saves me from having to figure this whole thing out. Actually. <laughs> that also broke this, actually. Okay, so let's cancel some of this. And uh, let's spam down a few power plants up here. Put down a few pipes for the water. Wait, are these pipes still connected? Yeah, these are still connected. But these are not. Okay, so these pipes are not really needed. So we can get rid of all of this. No, wait, they're connected here. Ah, but they still connect this way, so I'll just get rid of this. And I can place this easier. Yeah, I guess I should optimize these roboports as well. Let's take them down. So power poles. We can tidy this up a bit. So do like this. That was the midpoint. No, not quite. I think that should be done. Yep. fit in there while getting power it looks like it can yeah like that
These even connect nice. Oh wait. Ah. Oh. Oops. Is that there up here too? No? Okay. So just here then. So let's copy that again. Redo, redo. Yeah, let's do one more, since I have four belts of coal on here. And this should connect, yeah. No, this doesn't quite connect. Can I move this one down? I can move it there. Yeah, that'll connect. Put it there. Uh, let's connect to these. So I guess I'll just pull it up all the way from down here. I like pull these directly up. Uh, let's see. Let's not put them there. Let's put them somewhere I won't collide with everything on the way. So like here maybe? This way goes there. Just leave those there for now. And here I need to go over or under, rather. It is powered. Cool. Well, let's make sure all of this is covered. It does not. So we'll need some more like there. We'll cover this one. And there. We'll cover this. And these will cover, th cover the rest up here. Okay. So that should fix the power problems. I also need pumps for these, I suppose. Uh, there. within coverage? Uh, no. Let's put some more of these down, I guess.
Oh, the network split again? Yeah, the networks have split. Uh, okay, so let's re-establish connection there. And maybe there. Just so it's not <laughs> reliant on one RoboPort. What's the limit on these again? Total less than 5,000. I think we can bump that up to 10,000 robots. So how's this going? Yeah, still just limited by the steel. Unfortunately, so yeah, I guess that means I should... Yeah, I do have productivity modules in these. Okay. So yeah, I need blue circuits to make better modules. Okay, now... To man is way down. All of this connected, yeah. So what has happened to demand? Is it the roboports? No. It's the assemblers. Came way down. have to catch up with uh, the demand for those new power plants. looking okay again so maybe get started on blue science but on the other hand or blue circuits also getting kind of late so I should probably stop around here and continue another time I think I would like to figure these out better So that I can just very easily expand. Maybe the thing I had going here was easy enough, actually. It was not very RoboPort efficient, but... And it also didn't work in both directions, or at least the blueprints wasn't designed for both directions. So I would like to redo that a bit. But maybe that's just the way to go. The networks, networks are connected again. Yeah, so now we have more than 5,000 robots in this network. Cool. How are we on evolution now? 87%, so we're getting close to behemoths. So soon we're gonna need to put in landmines into these walls. Probably. Are we consuming? No, we're not consuming all the copper right now. Yeah, because everything is just backed up. This has enough plastic. This does not have enough plastic. Okay, so we're consuming all the plastic output at least. But yeah, we have. 
have enough petroleum, or even making too much petroleum actually. Hmm. Yeah, both of these are running. Okay. There's too much petroleum, so that means I need more plastic can plants, I suppose. So need to find a place to put another oil refinery, I guess. Uh, for this I actually can look at my spreadsheet again to see what the ratios are. Yeah, I have this there. Let's see. It is... yeah. 10 to 3 to 9, is that all? With, with beacons and modules, it's more like 4 to 6 to 22. Advanced oil processing to heavy oil to light oil cracking. While with without modules, it's just 10 to 3 to 9. or the ratios. So what about only productivity modules? Then it's 14 to... 14 to 5 to 17. look at this but that kind of doesn't really work 11,000 per minute uh, so that divided by 60 that's like a few hundred per second yeah like 200 per second no yeah 200 per second no But that's only because I can't consume anymore, I guess. Yeah. I can only consume 20 per second, I guess. Is that right? One of those can consume... Oh wait, one of these can consume 20 per second. So I should be able to consume 40 per second. Consuming 40 per second? This is just 20 per second. Each of these is 20 per second, so...
Oh yeah, okay, of course. Five of those is a hundred per second. Yeah, so ten of them is two hundred per second. Yeah, so my yeah my two hundred per second was correct. I guess. Uh, the so question is how much I could be consuming. So can we look like here? Oil peak has been 28k per minute, I guess. Which is about twice what I'm consuming now, so I could probably uh, support at least one more. So maybe then the 14 to 5 to 17 ratio is a li reasonable one. Oh, but I could also just place more plastic. Because I have more f uh, more petroleum that I'm using, or am I? Do I? No! No, I suddenly don't anymore. What is going on here? It's like I'm swinging back and forth between having too much and too little petroleum. This is Yeah, so only if we have more than 20,000 light oil should these be working. Yeah, okay, but they take a while to, to work through the buffer, I guess. the wrong condition. Yeah, this one is the wrong condition. Uh, this one should have that condition. So this should be this one greater or equal to two. I think this one and this one, yeah. It should be this one that has the... No, that should be... Yeah, that's this one, that's correct. And this one should have... Yeah, that condition. It's correct.
ratios here. Without modules, it's yeah, 10 to 3 to 9. Is that the ones I have here? Yeah, okay. So I did look that up, actually. But yeah, I think it's time to stop around here. I need to need to get up tomorrow. And the next time I'll get started on making blue circuits and better modules and all of that good stuff. And then yeah, maybe expanding a bit to take some more iron. Stuff like that. But yeah, that's gonna be in the next session. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.